from the place of thanksgiving. So wherever you are, I want you to go to God in thanksgiving. For the next five minutes, I'm going to give us the opportunity to look for songs that you can sing, songs to worship God, songs to praise God, and for five minutes, just to begin the process of praying tonight, let's look for songs and begin to worship God. So, brethren, begin to worship God anywhere you are. Begin to sing praises to Him. Begin to magnify His name. Thank Him, because He is good to us. If it's not for Him, the enemy would have destroyed us. If it's not for God's protection in our life, the enemy will have finished us. So wherever you are tonight, I want you to lift up your hands and lift up your voice and begin to worship God. Let's just give Him praise. Let's worship Him. Let's worship God Almighty. Let's give Him all the praise. Let's give Him all the honor. He's worthy of praises. He has done so much good things to us. We are here today because of God. If it is the devil, by now we shouldn't be here. If it is the plan of the devil, by now we shouldn't be alive. We shouldn't even have any reason to praise God. By now he will have killed and destroyed everything that has a meaning in our lives. But we are here today because God is good to us. So let's begin to worship God. Let's give him praise. Let's just worship him. God is good. God is wonderful. Begin to worship Him wherever you are. Begin to worship Him. Just give Him praise. Thank Him. Thank Him. God Almighty is the one that has given us victory. Is the one that is watching over us. If it is left for Him, we will not be here. So let's give God all the praise. Let's exalt His name. Worship Him. Give Him praise. Give him one more.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we praise him. Now we're going to take this prayer point. We're going to thank God for knowing God. We're going to thank God for salvation. Today we might still be in the world smoking and drinking and prostituting. We might still be in front of a shrine, bowing down to a God that does not exist. Some millions and billions of people on earth have no chance of salvation yet. They are still on their way to hell. But here we are. We are serving the living God. And we have access to the living God. So wherever you are, begin to thank God for salvation now. Thank Him, God. Say, Father, I thank you that I am saved. I thank you, Lord God, for the knowledge of Jesus Christ. I thank you for the knowledge of Jesus. I thank you for the grace to know Jesus. I thank you, God, for salvation of my soul. I thank you, Lord God, that you have given me the chance to come to you, to become a child, to become a son, to become a follower, to become a disciple. Father, I thank you that I'm no more in the world. I'm no more bowing down to Satan. I am no more. I have a hope of salvation. I have a hope of glory. I have a hope of eternal life. I have been brought into the way of life. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you for working out my salvation. I thank you for all the things that you did to bring me into the light of your salvation. I thank you for all the wonderful things that you have done. For those who used to preach to me. For the churches you took me to. For the troubles you took me to. All so that I can know you. Oh God, I am grateful. God, I am thankful. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, ancient of this. Blessed be your name. In Jesus Mighty name we pray. You're going to thank God now that, Father, I thank you that you did not allow the devil to steal all the goodness in my life. Begin to thank God now. The, 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 the project of the devil is to steal. But God has not allowed him to steal all the goodness that is in your life. So you're going to thank God and Father, thank you Lord God that the devil could not steal all from me. If it is possible, you will have stolen my salvation. If it is possible, you have stolen many things that today I will be wretched. Today I will be nothing. But I can still lay hold on one, two, three things, four, five, six, seven things that I have that you have provided for me that the devil could not steal. Oh God, I thank you. Though the devil's job was to steal, but you didn't allow him to steal from me. You didn't allow him to steal all that belongs to me. He has not rendered me empty. He has not rendered my family empty. He has not rendered my home empty. He has not rendered my life empty. I still have things that God has provided for me. Oh God, I thank you. Oh God, I bless you. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you that the devil could not steal all the things that you have given me. Ah, Father, I thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. The second duty of the devil was to kill. And here you are alive. It's only the living that can connect to a prayer program. Everyone that died this morning, that is the end. No matter the prayers you pray, they cannot connect again. I want you to begin to thank God and thank you, Lord, that the devil could not kill me. All these years he has tried. Is it when we are inside buses that had accidents? Is it food that has poison? Is it various things that has happened? Snakes have beaten a lot of people where we pass. The same road we pass through accidents that have happened and people have died. The same electricity in our house has killed a lot of people. The same light you put on has caught fire and burned a lot of people to death. Oh, over 150,000 people die every day. And for many years, millions and billions have gone. The devil has cut short many lives, but he couldn't cut short your life. Begin to thank God that the, that the job of the devil to kill did not work in your life. Oh, thank God. Thank Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I thank you that the devil could not kill. Upon every way he has done, everything he has tried, every way he could have tried it. Father, here we are alive. Even when we were in the world, that the devil could have killed us. And by now we'll be in hell. But God gave us a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance. And today we are still alive, we are not dead. Oh, let's begin to worship God. Let's begin to thank Him for the gift of life. Let's thank Him for the gift of life. Let's thank Him for the gift of life. Father, God, we thank You. God, we bless You. 
God will magnify you. God will give you praise. Blessed be your name. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. Thank you for life. Thank you that the devil has not turned our houses into empty places. He has not converted our houses into desolation. Where there is nothing good again. Because he has killed everything. Father, we thank you. That every time the devil plans to kill, you stop him. Oh, Father, we bless you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. The next duty of Satan is to destroy. If we have been given away, he will have destroyed everything concerning you. He will have destroyed your name, destroyed the future, destroyed everything. But God, at one time or the other, always stop him from practicalizing that is destruction in your life. So let's begin to thank God now for every destruction that God stopped. For every plan of destruction that God put a stop to. Every destruction of the devil that God stopped from entering into your house. Begin to thank God now. Oh, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that the devil could not destroy. Oh, if we have been left to him, many things will have been destroyed. If it had been left for the devil, many things will have been destroyed. But Father God, we thank you that the, the devil could not destroy because you are our watchtower. Because you were watching over us. The devil could not destroy us. The devil could not end our life. The devil could not finish our life. Oh, Father, we thank you. God, we bless you. God, we magnify you. Thank you that the devil could not practice his destruction in our life. Oh, glory be to your name. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. At the tail end of last year, when we were praying, God told us that this year will be a year of turbulence. And of course, the year came with turbulence. The year came with a virus that has killed millions. And here you are today. The virus came. It came to some houses and you escaped. Some people among us even got the virus and got healed. If some, some people, they were moving up and down, going from one business to another, and nothing stopped them down. The virus could not overcome us. Let me just thank God that the, the name of Jesus was stronger than coronavirus. The name of Jesus overcame coronavirus. Let me just thank God now. Oh, Father, we bless you. God, we give you praise. God, we give you honor. We thank you that the name of Jesus, the name that has been given unto us, was stronger than every trouble of the devil. That even as we enter 2020, and coronavirus started killing and destroying, here we are today. We, our friends, our family members, our, our prayer group members, we are alive and hale and happy. We can pray to you, we can thank you. Because coronavirus could not destroy our life. Coronavirus could not kill us. Coronavirus could not end our life. Coronavirus has no power over us. We thank you for giving us victory over what is so powerful. What the devil brought to, 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 to take our lives. But here we are today. Oh God, we bless you. God, we magnify you. Blessed be your name. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Along with coronavirus came the hardships, came the lockdown, came the emptiness. A lot of people could not eat. A lot of dryness came to the land. But if you look at your life, one way or the other, God has been providing for you. One way or the other, help has been coming. By now, people thought that some of us would have died of hunger. For now, some people thought that their life would have ended. But here you are. God protected you throughout it all. And He's still providing for you. Why not go to God and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That though there was a lockdown, our life was not locked out. Now, though there was a lockdown, Father, one way or the other, You were providing. You were feeding us. You were guiding us. You were watching over us. Begin to thank God for all that He has done. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Let's just bless His holy name. Let's thank Him. Oh, Father God, I bless you. God, I give you praise. God, I give you honor. Thank you for provision. Thank you one way or the other. One way or the other, you kept providing. You kept meeting our needs. You kept coming up. You kept showing, you kept showing up. You showed up at the time that we needed you. You showed up in the time of our troubles. You showed up every time we call upon you. Oh God, we bless you. We thank you, Lord God, that though everything seems tough, but God, we thank you that you answered us. Blessed be your name. 
Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now I want you to thank God for giving you testimonies. There is none of us whose life is devoid of testimonies. There is none of us that has not even seen God perform a miracle one way or the other in our lives. Even while we are looking forward to more miracles, but He has done so much in the past. So, brethren, I'm going to give us enough time to thank God for the miracles that God has done numerously in our lives. I want you to take time to think deep about the things that God has done for you and begin to thank Him now. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Oh, Daddy God, we thank you. King of glory, we worship you. We thank you, Lord God, that in the time past, numerous times, times without number, we have called upon your name and you have answered. Oh, Father God, we want to thank you for days that we had serious needs. We call upon you and you answer. Father, we want to thank you for days that we call upon your name in prayers and you came forth and answered unto us. Father, we thank you for where we went to now, into our closet and called upon your name and you answered. Oh God, we bless you. We thank you, Lord God, that you have proven to us many times over that we are truly serving the living God. Our life, our life of testimonies. That we are here today is testimony. A lot of things have happened. A lot of troubles have come our way. A lot of death from the enemy. A lot of things the devil has thrown away. But God, we thank you for every testimony that we have heard. Every testimony that you have given us. The one we can't remember. The one we can't remember. The one we know about. The one we don't know about. Battles that you have fought for us and you have won. And we never knew you were fighting. Oh, Father, we bless you for every miracle that you have given to us. For every good thing that you have done in our life. Father God, all we want to say is thank you. All we want to say is thank you. Thank you for miracles in the past. Thank you for answer to prayers in the past. Thank you for the way you have moved. Thank you for the miraculous. Oh God, we want to bless you. King of glory, we want to bless you. Almighty God, we lift your name on high. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now, I want us to thank God specifically. We naturally don't make noise and shout about testimonies in the Holy Spirit prayer house. But God has been so good to us in the prayer group. There is almost no kind of testimony that we have not seen. We have seen various healings, we have seen provisions, we have seen the power of God, we have seen the miraculous happen. So I want you to just join me and thank God that in this prayer group, God has been doing marvelously to us. He has been dealing marvelously with us. He has been performing miracles every day. There is no time I receive phone calls from members that there is no testimony. The number of testimonies I hear on phone call is far more than the number of testimonies that are posted into the group. Let's just thank God for His testimonies. Oh, Father, I want to thank you that we have not gathered unto damnation. We have not gathered unto emptiness. We have not gathered unto nothing. But we have gathered unto you, God, the miraculous God. We want to thank you for all diverse healings. We want to thank you for diverse healings. We want to thank you for the little bottle of water that you have used to perform a lot of miracles. We want to thank you for the little anointing oil that you have used to perform many miracles. We want to thank you that even without us having a physical meeting, just having meetings online, a lot of miracles have happened in different places. Oh, Father, what more can we say but to say thank you? Oh, God, thank you. Thank you, everlasting Father. That when we simply call upon your name, you answer by fire. When we call upon you, you move in. We want to thank you for those that were kidnapped that you delivered. We want to thank you for those seeking for the fruit of the womb that you gave. We want to thank you for the eyes that have been healed. We want to thank you for body parts that were replaced. We thank you for new body parts. We thank you, Lord God, for cancer that was just ran away. We thank you for lungs that disappeared. We thank you for all that you have done. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Can you lift up your hands with me? Even as we pray this praise prayer to end the praise prayer for tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank you. King of glory, we magnify you. 
You are the one who is great and mighty. You are the one who is worthy of all our praises. Father, first, we want to thank you that we are not in front of the devil, dancing to the devil. We want to thank you, Lord God, for giving us the wisdom and the grace to be saved, to come to you and start worshiping and serving the living God. Father, we say be praised in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that the agenda of the devil did not manifest fully in our lives. Oh, it's to steal, to kill, and to destroy. If it's left for the devil, there will be nothing left of us again. If it's left for the devil, many of us will be walking naked in the streets of, of, of the countries. But we thank you, Lord God, that you sheltered us. You clothe us. You feed us. You watch over us. You protected us. Oh, Father, be praised in Jesus' name. We want to thank you for the year started with pandemic. You told us in the beginning of the year that this year will be serious. And it came with all its anger, with all its troubles, but where we are today, the year was not able to conquer us. Oh, Father, we say be praised and magnified in Jesus' name. For the testimonies you have given every one of us at one time or the other. Ah, Father, we say thank you. We say blessed be your name. As we start tonight, the night, 21 days of prayer, as we have done the first day of Thanksgiving, Father, tonight, ask. Accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. And for every one of us that has connected in under with connecting later into this thanksgiving, because we are thank you, let your presence come and grow with us in Jesus' name. Now I decree to everyone that is going there tonight that the angel of the living God will come and dwell in your praises. Tonight your environment will be covered with the presence of God Almighty. The powers that tamper with dreams, the powers that come in the middle of the night, the powers that operate at night, we have no access to you tonight in Jesus' name. Because the presence of God will envelop you. The presence of God will become your shadow and you will sleep under the presence of the Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow night. Uh, oh, okay. We're today, rather. See you by 11.50 p.m. today as we continue our 21 days of prayers. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful night.